Hey guys, Thrift Hunter here with my garage sale finds uh, for the past week or so. I've uh, been really busy, been working uh, about 47 hours a week. So I've been really busy doing that. Uh, also, kind of sick today, so excuse my terrible voice here. But uh, So these are my finds. Um, nothing too great, not a whole lot here, but uh, I'll show you what we got. So first up is this uh, cross pen set. It's just uh, stainless or something. They're not uh, they're not the gold filled. Those are worth more. But it's got the uh, little pen pouch and the paperwork there. It's all in perfect condition. It's never been used. Um, so as you can see from the top, there's a dollar. That's probably a twenty dollar uh, little set there. Also a uh, Pyrex nesting bowl. Usually don't buy these things because they're just a pain unless you've got a whole set. Um, but it was 50 cents. Uh, she had a, there, there's the only little mark there. She had a red one too that was smaller and in worse condition that I didn't buy for 50 cents because it's really just not worth my time. Uh, so that was 50 cents. Also, um, I really only bought this because I, I didn't have any quarters on me at the time <laughs> and I wanted to buy this one. Uh, so this was 50 cents as well. This is a uh, your Fire King Jadeite Swirl Bowl. Again, not worth very much by itself without like the rest of the bowls uh, to the set. But the Jadeite, there's just there's just demand for it. There's more demand for the Jadeite stuff than there is for the Pyrex, I would say. Uh, but anyway, bought this ugly porcelain clown for two dollars. I was hoping it'd be a Yadro because it had this felt on the bottom. Uh, turns out this is like a you know 1950s 60s Japan copy or whatever. Um, not a not a Yadro. Probably not worth much of anything to me. A uh, nice uh, really nice pearl set. This was 50 cents. The pearls are in really good shape. That's why I bought it. Uh, silver clasp. <clears throat> I got uh, these two rings. Just silver little rings for a dollar. Got a Waterford pendant for 50 cents. This is actually a, probably worth 10 bucks or so. It's pretty nice. For a little silver chain on it, it'll sell, no problem. Uh, I got all these belt buckles here. Um, paid $5 for the four that you see. Um, I just basically bought all the ones that didn't say made in China on the back. That one's Indiana Metal Craft. And uh, they've all got like little writing tags on the back. And they're not, this one doesn't. This one's the only one that's plain. And this one's probably the nicest. It's got the most markings there. Sid Bell pewter belt buckle. That's like 15 bucks on a good day. The rest of these, you know, 8 to $10 or so on eBay. They'll sell pretty quick. Uh, I bought this at an estate sale. It was half off, so this was, you know, $2.50. Says ST. I don't know what that means, Sterling. I haven't tested it. Well, hopefully, it's silver. Um, this was marked ten dollars, so I got it for five. Uh, this is Sterling handled, and it's marked. This is like a butter slicer, possibly. Um, I got this pretty nice um, crystal or Aurora Borealis necklace. Um, nice, like grape cluster type deal here. This is made by Vendome. It's got the earrings, and the earrings are marked Vendome. Uh, the necklace isn't marked, but I would say with almost certainty that those are by the same maker there. That might be uh, $20, maybe $30, uh, maybe more if people really like it. Or if it's like featured in a book or something like that, someone might pay a little more for it. Uh, that's That stuff's usually like that. If it's featured in a book, it's worth like double. Uh, okay, so I bought this and this same place and I was hoping that this thing would be um, sterling because you see this Mexican overlay uh, quite a bit it's usually sterling it's really well put together and everything like that it's you it's uh, over a Hag and Hag uh, like liquor bottle um, tested it a couple times and it is nickel silver it is not uh, sterling which was unfortunate, unfortunate for me because it would have been worth a lot more if it was silver. Uh, but really, not that big of a deal. And I got these uh, just on a hunch, uh, kind of 
Uh, they had a bunch of silver plates, so I just went around and felt all the silver plate, kind of, you know, looked for marks and everything, and I looked for a mark on this. It's got absolutely no marks on the inside where it would normally be marked. Uh, just kind of did a little ping test on it, felt the, uh, the bend to it. The bend was really what sealed the deal for me. It was just a little bit, when you're handling all the silver plate, you can feel how stiff it is, you know? It's like, it's not really bendable but these like little prongs they bend like nothing and then I can pull this apart real easy it's just real soft so I bought this and while I was testing that I tested these and these are uh, sterling so these are 114 grams of sterling uh, sterling's down or silver's down a whole lot right now so I won't be selling these anytime soon but that was my best score I paid five dollars for the two pieces and uh, did well on those that paid for you know the rest of everything and more uh, so yeah not too much to show um, been really busy like I said working every single day uh, basically all day so my weekends have been just uh, packed also uh, recently turned 21 alright been doing some uh, recreational activities with that so uh, been going out and stuff like that it's been fun so just giving you guys a little update on, I wanted to put out a video just to show you kind of what, what I've been doing. I'm going to show at the end of this video, it's going to be my uh, sales. I sold uh, maybe eight or nine things and I'll just kind of show you what I sold from my last video. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, I hope you all do really well this week. Alright, so first up is the uh, Stu Ben uh, bowl that was all scratched. Sold for 22.50. Not bad. The two uh, <clears throat> Nikon lenses that I sold uh, went for sixty dollars. I paid uh, ten for the both, so I uh, did really good on those lenses. I was pretty happy with that. Uh, next up, bought this a long time ago. It was a uh, Tiffany and Co. Sterling and eighteen karat uh, bracelet that sold for ninety two eighty nine. Um, I paid. Uh, 25 bucks for that, or 20 bucks, a long time ago, at an estate sale, so that went for pretty well. Uh, let's see, this is my Sterling picture frames. If you remember, I bought uh, all those picture frames for $12. They brought $134.50. Um, this was right when like silver started taking a dip, so it could have brought more, but pretty happy with that. Again, only had 12 bucks into it, so I can't really complain. Um, a really nice uh, piece that I bought a long time ago for uh, $45, I believe. The Diamond Bar, uh, three row. Went for $76. It was a nice Art Deco, patented 1921 or something like that. Pretty old. It was cool. Uh, here's the Eagle that I talked about in the last video. The uh, Steve Ben Eagle. My pictures came out uh, pretty good. Sold for $226. Here is the uh, turquoise necklace that I thought would bring a lot more than it did. This was my biggest disappointment, probably. Um, that sold for $26. Um, that person got a deal. That's, I mean, probably a $300 necklace in the stores. Uh, but, you know, whatever. I paid $2 for it. Also, uh, a while back, I needed some cash, so I sold uh, the 14 karat bracelet that I got for a dollar. Uh, sold for three hundred and twenty-five dollars. Uh, I still have the charm, if you remember, uh, from one of my other videos. It had a uh, fourteen karat charm on it too, with a, an amethyst. Uh, I still have that. I kept that, uh, but just the bracelet itself brought three hundred and twenty-five bucks. Needed a little bit of cash, so that helped out. So yeah, those were my uh, sales recently. I also sold some stuff for some friends and stuff like that, uh, but nothing, nothing really cool. So yeah, thanks for watching.